Welcome to PC Wits Kids Answer Back, episode number 36. So it's been a while. I've been gathering tons of awesome questions from you guys. Some of them are the same ones over and over, so I've bundled them here. The first question is, what do I use to clean the inside of my PC? Obviously, I don't have a PC that looks like this. But if you do, if you've got a really dirty one, then obviously you want to get a vacuum cleaner because that's really dirty. But you got to be very careful what you're doing. You have to be very careful. Disconnect the computer. You can get a can of compressed air. You can get that at the office supply stores. Some cotton swabs, some rubbing alcohol, some lint-free cloths, you know, some anti-static cloths to kind of wipe and clean the dust out of there very carefully. You don't want to generate static electricity and, and uh, damage any components, obviously. Okay, so that's what I basically would use. Question two. Okay, which media player do I recommend that uses the least amount of memory? Because many of you might be using the Windows Media Player. Well, believe it or not, that one actually uses the least amount of memory, but it has the least amount of features compared to iTunes, for example. iTunes has more features, uses more memory, has better support, but Winamp, obviously, ultimately, is the most comprehensive. It has the most features, better support, but that one uses the most memory. You can see here WM Player, that's Windows Media Player, is uh, using 20 megs of uh, memory. iTunes is using 24 megs, and Winamp is using 29 uh, megs, and that's all three of them playing at the same time one album of music. Okay, so I've got all three playing at the same time the same music. Question three. In the Windows task list, you see a suspicious process and you're wondering, is that a virus? Okay, so you've got something there. It looks like a system uh, process, but it has no description beside it. It's blank. So what is that? Why is it blank? Well, most uh, of the time that I've ever seen a process running, there's a description. If you see something that has a blank description in there, then definitely that's got to raise a flag. You got to scan. It's probably a Trojan. It's definitely malware. You never know when it comes to things that are blank and don't have any description. Question four. Am I going to be reviewing building an HTPC, so a home theater PC? Yes. Okay. I've reviewed home theater low profile video cards, small motherboards. Now we're going to go to the next level and review building one of these home theater PCs in a small little case. And um, stay tuned for that. Question five is about replacing the CPU cooler and reusing the thermal paste. I don't recommend doing that, okay? Don't reuse the same thermal paste. Over time, this thermal paste actually gets hard and crusty, doesn't transfer the heat properly. Here's an, an example of a, of a CPU with the cooler removed and the old, the old paste. You don't want to reuse that, okay? Go out, get some fresh paste, put it on there, and uh, it'll keep the heat transfer alive and well, and uh, you'll thank yourself for that. More contests coming soon, by the way, so make sure you subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.